Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces for March 2020. Happy birthday. I would sing happy birthday to you, but uh, I've got a cold. So anyway, uh, what do we got for Pisces? For the month of March. Now, after this, we're going to do one, another one for you, which is going to be six months from now. So, I just did one for Taurus. And I decided to do yours next because it's your birthday. So, yeah. So, anyway, what do we have for Pisces? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Pisces for March 2020? What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, a completion, a major one. Lesson learned. This is the world card. The universe is a major completion of a phase, a cycle. This is leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. A long-term project has come full circle. This is uh, this is the end of an era. You have a major new beginning here with this card. This is big, huge. It means that you have learned a lesson. That phase of your life, whatever it was, it was very prominent in your life, right? It was something that was, that dominated you in some way. It had a big control over your life. It's over, it's done. Okay, that phase of your life is over. Um, a lesson has caused you your evolution, right? You're not the same person. You have learned some sort of lesson, okay? A life lesson. This could also be a change of residence. You may be moving, okay? Um, so there could be a change in residence, uh, travel, traveling to a new destination. Um, but that is major success, completion of a project. You have successfully learned a life lesson. Congratulations. Um, I guess we got this next one. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. So I think this month, perhaps you're going to be doing just that. Expressing your love through your actions. That's, you know, big thing. That is a very big thing. So what do we have for Pisces for the month of March? We have a new beginning. We do have a new beginning because when one phase ends, another new one begins. Ooh, yikes. Now, the Ten of Cups reverse is a relationship, okay? But it's a relationship that has ended or it's ending. Relationship problems, people leaving, a split, a breakup, whatever. But endings lead to new beginnings. So there's some sort of relationship that has come to an end or it is coming to an end um, you're not compatible there's uh, a disconnection of some sort could have to do with a child perhaps that somebody you know you don't get along with their children their children don't get along with you you know something to do with a child but there's also somebody that is better suited for you there's somebody better suited for you out here um, there's a lack of confidence, a lack of willpower, weak, there's weakness, there's a lack of courage, a lack of integrity. Hmm. Let's get some more cards. We're talking about March. Speaking the truth, somebody's getting caught. Somebody is getting caught. If they have been lying, they're getting caught. Here comes the truth. There's news that is arriving. Somebody is going to be delivering a message. It may cut. This message may cut. But what the hell is this? There's going to be some sort of communication that comes through about some sort of deception. Because this is deception. Somebody is getting caught. Which is going to give somebody the sword that severs the ties with the whatever relationship that is not compatible. There's somebody that is better suited here. Um, this is, yeah, not compatible. It's really not compatible. 
Okay. Two of Cups reverse. It's not. We have a split here. We have some sort of split. We have a relationship. We have two people that are not on the same page. There's just disharmony. There's fighting. There's bullying. There's dominance. There's. It's just an unhappy couple. And I think that there's, there's, it's like there's some sort of person in the middle. It could be a child or a stepchild, you know, that is causing problems, causing turbulence within the relationship. And it's just time for it to end. I don't know. It's like, it is. It's just, it's unhealthy. It is definitely unhealthy. And here comes some sort of communication, communication and a wake up call of some sort. This is also the sword of truth and the sword of power. This sword cuts through the bullshit, okay? It and there's something that somebody is whoever has been lying or whatnot, they're gonna get caught. The truth is gonna come out. Oh, absolutely. Some lies are gonna be exposed. This is definitely lies being exposed right here. So there's gonna be some sort of exposure in March in regards to a relationship. Okay? Somebody may have been cheating. I'm just I'm just being honest with somebody, okay? Um, somebody has like another suitor. There's like another suitor here, and it gets revealed. Hmm. Somebody has been having double loyalty. It's like they were loyal to you and loyal to somebody else at the same time. So yes, there's there's double there's duality, okay? It's like and somebody was hiding the truth they were wearing a mask they were lying but the truth is being exposed <laughs> there's some sort of truth that is going to be exposed this month interesting Ooh, nine of pentacles reverse now the nine of pentacles is like this person doesn't complete you there's a there's a financial loss. There's somebody that is financially unstable. They're insecure. They can't take care of themselves. They waste money. They spend money. They don't have a good job, or they don't, or they're lazy, or they just don't put in effort. This person is very needy, very uh, high maintenance per se. Like needs somebody to take care of them. Can't take care of themselves. Doesn't want to be alone. But there's some sort of sneaky behavior here. It's like, I don't know, what the hell is it? They're stealing money, maybe? Something about sending money home, sending money someplace else. Because this is, this is sending or messaging. This is sending. Somebody has been sending messages or sending money. Now this is financial burden right here, or financial loss, big, huge loss. Somebody may be experiencing a big, huge financial financial loss. Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. There's like a thief here. I don't know if you're dealing with a thief. Or if you're a thief, or there's some sort of thief that is stealing. This is a thief. Oh, sorry, but that's what I see. Somebody's dealing with a thief. Um, and there's going to be a change in the residence. There's something to do with the home. Something to do with the home. Somebody could be moving home this month. going their own way time to re-identify this is this is definitely time to withdraw from others reflect completely go within listening to yourself knowing what you need to do uh, becoming clear of what is happening this is clarity and this is clarity it's like you're going to get some sort of epiphany you're going to, or somebody's going to reveal something to you. It's like you, something is going to be shown. Somebody has been hiding something and it's like it's, the truth is going to come out. 
there's been some sort of communication with somebody that they lived with before or something like or they've been sending money or hiding money or something like that now this is becoming clear and there's some sort of clarity that is coming this is a conscious Jesus awareness. So yeah, there's some sort of new, you're going to be made aware of some sort of deception. Either you or the person you're dealing with. If you are the deceptor here and you're watching this, somebody is going to find out. They're going to find out the truth. And it does involve some sort of finances, some sort of money. It does involve that. Somebody was, maybe they were, you were being used. Somebody was being used for for the, the roof over their head. Sorry. Somebody made a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice. And probably they got into a, into a relationship because they didn't want to be alone. Now somebody is walking away, turning their back, saying goodbye. They see the truth. This is going to happen right around the moon. It could be the, the full moon or the new moon. Or it could have happened in, the, in the, the new moon previous. The previous new moon. Um, so when is that new moon? The 23rd of February? Doesn't have to be. But anyway, this is somebody walking away. Seeing the truth, knowing the truth, speaking the truth, leaving it behind. I'm leaving that poor decision behind. I'm leaving it behind. Somebody has become aware of a poor decision. And they're saying goodbye. There's probably going to be a fight. There's probably going to be a conflict of some sort. Oh my God, there's definitely going to be a fight of some sort. There's been some sort of abuse, some sort of mental abuse. Somebody has, and maybe there's psychological abuse or something like that. There's some sort of abuse here. Somebody has been abusive. Very cold, very uncaring. It's not, it's like I don't care. I don't care about anybody's feelings. Or you're dealing with somebody who doesn't care about feelings. We have a very cold, uncaring individual here that is sending messages or communicating with uh, oh, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody that they lived with before. Because the Ten of Pentacles is home. But it's in the past because it's reversed. There's an absence of a financial security here. Absence of money. There's no security. Somebody's moving home. They can't afford to move home. They just need a roof. Somebody was pretending. They may have been pretending that they were in love because these are also the rods of love, but this is pretending. Maybe just because they needed a roof over their head. They needed money. They wanted the money. They may have married for money. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. They may have married for money. A fighting over money. There could be a lot of fighting over money. There's definitely fighting over money. We have somebody here that's not paying their fair share. There's, there's arguments over money for sure. We, have, we do also have somebody that is seeing that it's time to walk away. So I think that this month... I think there's going to be a breakup. I do. I do. With the Two of Cups reversed and the Ten of Cups reversed and somebody walking away. Because this is this is really bad. It's dark. It is dark. And we and somebody is communicating with somebody else. They are. Ooh, we have a Queen of Swords here. Now, somebody may want to go home. The Queen of Swords, soulmate connection. The Queen of Swords uh, demands the truth. She will take nothing but the truth. And she may cut somebody's head off before they even get the truth out of their mouth. Because that's who she is. So, um, there's probably going to be communication. Somebody may even hire a professional. They Maybe they hire an investigator or something. And this investigator, investigator catches somebody cheating. Somebody's going to get caught doing something that they shouldn't be doing just just so you know 
Um, there's definitely some sort of investigation going on. Somebody's going to get caught. This We have a Queen of Swords that is very assertive, very aggressive, very uh, authentic. She has the power in her hands. She does. She is the sword of power and truth in her hands. And she is holding on to her stability and her security. She is stable and she is solid and she is secure and she is holding on to it and she knows her value. She is, uh, she's not going to just, she will cut you down quicker than shit, put it that way. And she doesn't care how you feel. It's about protecting, protecting herself and holding on to what she has. So I think that we do have somebody here that is willing to do whatever it takes to hold on to what they have so just keep that in mind anyhow um there's go there's a lot of messages going back and forth about this person right here this person is uh very intuitive very smart very intelligent and very powerful and we have somebody here that is jealous and watching this person they are watching this person. They know that she is a force to be reckoned with. They know it. <laughs> so in March, Pisces, I feel as though somebody is going to be walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation. And they walk away because they get some sort of clarity. Okay, that is clarity and that is clarity. It makes them walk away. And they decide to go their own path. They decide to go their own way. It's just like, you know what? Goodbye. This was a poor decision. It was a mistake. I was stupid. Goodbye. Somebody is leaving something behind. They are. They've learned their lesson. And they're going someplace else. It's like they're stepping. They're moving. They are deaf. I think we do have somebody that is moving. One more card for Pisces for March. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Now that is... Uh, this could be consequences. Okay, it's consequences. It is hard times. It's poor health. It's financial burdens. It's being left behind. It's begging. It's victim mentality. It's uh, begging for assistance. Maybe needing some assistance. Maybe needing help. Somebody needs help. Begging for a chance, begging for attention. Uh, can you help me? Somebody may be needing some help. Somebody could be headed towards homelessness. I'm sorry, I don't know. And it could be somebody you're dealing with, you know? Somebody could be headed towards homelessness. being Or being left out in the cold, being abandoned. Or maybe somebody has been abandoned. Because this is abandonment. Somebody could be end up being ghosted. Some, there is going to be a loss. Somebody made a poor decision. Somebody bit off more than they can chew. And now there's going to be a big loss. It's like they're going to fall. They're going to fall. They're going to hit the ground. They made a poor choice. They thought it was all fun and games. They were playing games and now they're getting caught with the, in their games and their lies and their deception. Somebody's about to lose something and it's going to cost them some money. I see a loss of money. And it, <coughs> it feels like this person's going to get it. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. It's like total ruin here. Total financial ruin. Now, the Seven of Cups is about consequences. So somebody could be suffering some consequences for... Previous abuse or abandonment. Making poor choices. Spending too much money. Cheating, lying, deceiving. Yeah, there's some sort of consequences here. There is. There's going to be financial loss. I'm sorry, Pisces. No, that's not what you want to hear. 
Um, there is financial loss because of, it's almost because of greed. This is greed. It is greed. So somebody's greediness and selfishness is going to cause them a big, huge loss. One more card. One more card. That's it. That's it. We do have a major new beginning here, though. Because the world card is a beginning. It's a new beginning. It's like you've learned some sort of lesson. This this phase is done. It's been a shit show. It really has. This shit show is over. It is. Taking action. Act now. Think later. Goodbye. See you later. Adios. I'm out. Bye bye. So, yeah, that's what I see. I see somebody taking action to walk away from something that has been caused them a lot of upheaval in their life. Somebody's moving, too. They're moving. They're moving. And they're going to, they're, they're walking away with less than they started with. Put it that way. There's a separation. There's a painful separation here. Not only is it a separation of a partnership, but it's financial loss as well. Horrendous loss. That was unpredictable. Past mistakes coming back to haunt you or them or whoever this reading is for. Somebody's past is coming back to haunt them and they are about to experience a horrendous loss thanks to karma and destiny. And I don't know who this reading is for. It could be for me. It could be for you. It could be for anybody. But the tagline says Pisces. Good luck.